You can easily organize your illicit search results within Notion. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. To do it the easiest way, you will need to upgrade to the illicit plus plan so that you can actually export out the data, but you can also do it manually without upgrading as well. I'm going to start with a new illicit notebook and I'm just going to add in my title. So I'm going to get started with effects of caffeine on athletic performance. And then I'm going to start searching for papers and I'm just going to ask it, what are the effects of caffeine on athletic performance? So I'm just asking it this simple question here and I'm going to go ahead and search. So once I have my search results, I get this table here that includes the paper name and the abstract summary. And I can always load more down here to get more and more results. So now I have about 16 different papers within this table. And I can go ahead and add additional columns here to get more and more information about each of these papers before I go ahead and organize it so that I can get as much information as possible. The one thing with doing it this way between Elicit and Notion is you're really only going to want to upload one time from Elicit to Notion. You're not going to want to kind of upload once and then do some things and then upload again, because then it's going to create duplicate rows. So I want to add all of my columns in the initial set, and then I'm going to upload. So now I've added in a few more columns. I have the main findings, the limitation and the research questions, and you can see some places where there is low confidence. Um, so that would be places to check. So now that I have all this data, if I want to add all of this to my Notion so that I can organize it with Notion's tools in a little bit of a better way, what I can do is come up here and I'm going to click this export as and I'm going to download the CSV file. So here's my CSV file. So you can see I have titles, author, DOI, DOI link. The venue is typically the journal. Um, citation count, year, abstract summary, main findings, and then we have the other tables that I added in. So we have kind of the limitations, um, and then we have the research question. And so you can see that it adds some supporting quotes in here for the main findings. Um, and some reasoning for main findings and things like that. So we have a lot of different things within here. Now, what we're going to want to do now is set up our notion so that we can just upload this file in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, my journal article organization template. You can, there's a link in the description below if you want to buy this template, but if you already have your own um, notion template that you like to use, that's fine too. And I'm going to retitle this effects of caffeine on athletic performance. Okay. So now what I want to do is prep this. So I'm going to go to my database, which in my case is under my dashboard. I can just click here and it'll take me to my database. And you can see that right now this is an empty database and I have certain um, columns already in here. And what we want to make sure to do if we're going to upload this in is make sure that all of our titles of columns match the columns that are in our Excel. So we either need to change our Excel to match or we need to add columns in or delete columns from the Excel. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through. So we have title authors and DOI. All of those should be the same. So I have title and authors. That's all correct for DOI in here. There's DOI and there's already DOI link. So you can see that DOI link is right there for venue. I'm going to rename that to journal. So you can see right here I have journal. So I'm going to go ahead and rename that in here to journal. So now that'll match citation count. If I want to include that in here, that is not already in my um, literature organization. So I'm going to need to add that property in. So we're going to go to properties, new property, and I'm going to do citation count. And then here I can go ahead and alter this. So this is going to be a number here. And so that's good to go. And then 
I already have year in there. Now I need to add in for all of these additional columns that I wanna bring in. So there are a lot of columns here, and so I wanna go ahead and add those in. So I'm gonna add in abstract summary, main findings, limitations, and research questions. And then I'm gonna delete out the other columns. So again, I'm just gonna come in, go to my properties, add a new property. I'm gonna call this abstract summary, and it's just going to be a text field, so that's fine there. And all of the ones that I'm getting from the AI generated from Elicit, I'm just gonna let them be text fields. So I'm gonna add in a new property. And we're just gonna do main findings. Then I'm gonna come in and add in the final one for research questions and just let all of those be text. So now I have several new um, columns in here that are going to automatically come in when I at upload my CSV. Final thing I want to do is clean my CSV of anything that's not going to go into my um, that doesn't already have a column available for it. So I'm going to take out these reasoning and supporting columns and I'm going to delete those out. So now all of these should have a column that matches their actual type. So for example, this, um, it would be like a character field. This should be a link field. These can be numeric fields, things like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this updated one so that I always have the original one. So once we have this cleaned, all we need to do now is in our literature organization, we're going to come up to these three dots up here and we're going to say merge with CSV file. And we're going to add the CSV file that we just saved with the clean um, CSV file for the illicit information. So now what we get is all of this information in here. We have the authors. If you come over here, the title is gonna be in this field here. If we wanted the title to be in this field, we would have we would have wanted to change this, um, the title column to name instead of title. This is specifically because this version of this template syncs with Notaro if you wanna sync it with your Zotero. And that needs this to be name for that to work. So the DOI came in, we have our DOI link there, our year came in, we have the journal, and then we have the citation count account. We have the citation count. We now have all of this illicit information that does come in from this. Now, like I said before, the only way to get this right now, if you are not on the paid account, this export as will be disabled. You won't be able to actually export. So the other way to do this is to literally come in and copy and paste everything between the two. I realize that's a lot of work and you may just wanna take what's actually relevant at that point um, versus actually doing that. But if you do have the paid account, this is an easy way to be able to get that information from your elicit where it's not as easy to organize things or plan things out. It's really just a way to get information into a Notion account. I will again have this template linked below and I'll also have my 30 day research jumpstart guide, which is a PDF to help you figure out what papers to read and how to get started with your next research project. Links below, it's completely free. So if you're interested in getting started in either of those, those will both be linked in the description below. I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.